Uh, good evening. Uh, this evening, I'd like to share on the continuing the series on Know God uh, on the topic of Spirit and Truth. This is the words of True Mother. Uh, I'm reading from the Mother of Peace First Edition, page 31. To awaken people who have eyes but cannot see, as my husband's wife, I offered devotions in remembrance of True Father every day for three years on behalf of all people. With this depth of commitment, I promised my husband and all the members of our worldwide movement will bring us back to the spirit of the early days of our church and I'll create a revival through spirit and truth. And October 22nd, 2013, get revived with God's spirit and truth and become victorious. These are words from uh, True Mother. So what is spirit and truth? Interestingly, uh, True Father has also spoken on this. One should not speak about such things in a one-sided way, but reinforce it by truth. You have to give both spirit and truth. Each person knows his or her own personal character and nature. So each of us must make the effort to develop both aspects as a complementary pair. You must research the truth of the divine and experience the spirit of the divine. You must devote yourself to prayer and study. So here, it's uh, important to understand that two parents is referring to the spirit of the divine. Experience the spirit of the divine. That means God's uh, spirit. And it should be distinguished from Holy Spirit. Uh, if you attend the seven-day workshop, you will understand more why the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of the Divine is different. So here, True Father is uh, mentioning that uh, we can now experience the Spirit of the Divine by devoting ourselves to prayer and study. Now, this is a very important proclamation and the word full eminence uh, is used. Now, eminence means full dwelling. Okay. And this proclamation was actually made in Las Vegas, 2010. So it's a very long one, but I'll just read the, uh, the uh, main points. Uh, True parents declare that it is the completion, conclusion, and closure of the Old Testament, New Testament, and completed Testament age, and proclaim the era of God's full transcendence, full eminence, full authority, and omnipotence. Sorry, I spelled the word eminence wrongly at the top. So full eminence is very the word that I like to focus on, means that God can dwell uh, in the hearts of men. First, in the hearts of true father and true mother as true parents of uh, heaven, earth, and humankind. Okay, and I'll continue. So I declare the completion, conclusion, and closure of entire providence and final victory. God and true parents are completely one. God is complete, perfected, and fulfilled. So this is the declaration that was later made in 2011. The first declaration was made at Las Vegas on 2010. And 2011, uh, this declaration or proclamation was made uh, in Chongjongung Palace. Okay. So bear in mind, uh, so the full eminence means God can dwell in true parents' heart. So you have to understand that 
uh, after the fall, God could not uh, dwell in the hearts of Adam and Eve and all humankind and all the descendants of Adam and Eve. So whole restoration history is so that true parents can come to establish a foundation for which God can dwell in the hearts of uh, humankind. First in true parents and then in all humankind. So beginning with the blessing of uh, holy blessing of our true parents and this is from the mother of peace first edition page 98 god's predestined will was that his only begotten son and daughter would become one flesh through the marriage supper of the lamb and that through them the dwelling place of god would be with men and women again the emphasis on full eminence so it started with 1960 with the uh, marriage blessing, holy marriage blessing of true parents. So you have to understand that, you know, this is one of the most important accomplishments of true parents is to establish all necessary conditions and uh, so that God can dwell in the hearts of true parents and then humankind. So let's read again the uh, words of our true parents given at the Peace Summit, May 3rd, 2023, opening ceremony and special plenary. This is that through the dedication of Chong Wang Gung and the Chong Yi Sanctum, Heavenly Parent can recite directly with us. So this is the dedication. Okay. Dedication of Chong Wang Gung and the Chong Yi Sanctum. Yet a miraculous event has occurred on the Korean Peninsula through the true parents as they are dedicating a temple from which the Heavenly Parent can directly govern the earthly world. So this is to establish the sovereignty of God. So sovereignty is also mentioned here. We all need, and the third, we all need to celebrate that we are living in this miraculous time, attending our heavenly parent. So this is a, an amazing uh, declaration dedication, declaration, proclamation, and the establishment of Chong Shim Wan in Las Vegas by True Mother, April 30th, 2022. And now, after more than one and a half years, two years, we have 60, probably 60 or more Chong Shim Wan established throughout the country. So we have to understand that this blessing is truly amazing. But let's look at basically who our true parents are and who Jesus is. And True Mother has always emphasized the importance of understanding the essence of Jesus because True Father and True Mother are the only begotten son and daughter of God. So for them, they are born. Firstly, they have heart. And their life is the manifestation of this heart of God, the dwelling of God in their heart. And they, when they speak, they speak the truth from God's heart. That's the original way, okay? That Adam and Eve should have establishing heart and then the dwelling of God in substance and then sharing God's truth 
This was the original way. But the cost of restoration is different. First is through the word of God, through truth, and then substance, and then heart. But this cannot be a done through individuals reaching out to God so that God can dwell in your heart. We have to understand that after the fall, God could no longer be the true owner of mankind, of Adam and Eve and humankind, and this cosmos because of original sin and fallen nature. So it is necessary for the second Adam and the third Eve to be realized substantially, to be born without sin like Adam and Eve, and they will have the divine nature. And the two person that fulfill that condition is none other than our true parents. They have the original nature of creation, okay? Inheriting the divine nature of God. And because of that, we as fallen individuals need to receive the blessing and establish this oneness in heart with true parents in order to achieve individual perfection. And this is based on the understanding that just as the fall, we receive original sin and fallen nature in the same way when we unite in heart with our true parents, we can inherit the original nature of creation that was lost at the time of the fall. And here, uh, quoting Father's words, when any existence become one in love, they exchange elements with each other. So that's how original sin and fallen nature was inherited by Adam and Eve, fallen Adam and Eve, through resonance of heart. Okay? So in the same way, through resonance of heart with our true parents, through Chong Shim Wan in particular, we can inherit this original nature of creation. So these are some of the words from true parents. We evangelize everyone with the word and we lead people to the world of heart. So from truth, it leads to the heart. We need the word and then we need a substance that God can recognize. So the substance is, you know, our guests need to make some kind of commitment Adam and Eve commit sin at the risk of their life. So we need to also be willing to offer our life at the risk of our life in order to inherit this heart from our true parents and from God. Yeah? After that, it is necessary to become perfected centering on heart. So, in this sense, what is the meaning of spirit and truth then? Spirit and truth is applying the understanding that it is through the truth, the word of God. So, we have the word of God delivered, whether delivered or spoken, whether it's read through Hunduke, we gather, read, and study. And then to this, we also offer prayer, devotion, and repentance. And then what happens is that there is a transformation that will take place. And these are the four main 
you know um what jesus spoke of you know poor in spirit blessed are the poor in spirit for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted that means mourning means what sensitive to the pain of others blessed are pure in heart for they shall see god blessed are the meek in heart they will inherit the earth so there's a process for which through prayer, devotion, repentance, we can develop this heart. And then the heart of true parents, we can, as a filial sons and daughters, we can feel it, we can know it in our heart. We know very well that our true parents worry for, for mankind, for humanity cannot sleep well at night. Can we feel how precious their heart is? How tired they are? This is through attendance and through this filial heart, we can feel, we can know that true parent's heart. And through this, we develop this longing heart for true parents. This whole, whole process is developing that spirit based on the truth we receive. Divine principle and the words of our true parents. That is how we develop this spirit so that we can inherit this part of our true parents and have this oneness in heart with true parents. <clears throat> 